Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks in Guinea Titan, and we're in the Ardennes, and I'm in the Tiger 131, which is another one of the tanks that I purchased, uh, bought two tanks, so the um, Cromwell B and the Tiger 131 were the two tanks that I traded in tanks for, so I traded in the T14 for this one, not as good a deal, because it was a tier 5 tank for a tier 7, whereas the Ripper was a tier 5 tank for a tier 6, so I got better value should we say out of the Ripper Cromwell B deal than I got out of the uh, T14 Tiger 131 deal. I never got the Tiger 131 when it came out. I'm not 100% sure why. I think I may have spent money. I don't try not to spend too much money on this game. And I'd already got the hammer. Um, and I quite enjoyed the hammer. Now, I'm not particularly good with tigers. I'm not particularly good with heavy tanks. I'm okay-ish. I kind of vary from okay-ish to, to fairly bad. Uh, generally with heavy tanks. But I didn't realise until I had um, some preferential matchmaking there with LT Bulldogs. Some time back, the last time we managed to get together. And I found out the Tiger 131 had actually got preferential matchmaking. Which I didn't know. Um, so that made me a bit more interested in it. Because obviously, if you don't see uh, what is a tier seven, eight, nine, if you don't see tier nine games, then you will, on average, do better in this tank than you will in any other flavor of tiger. Um, both the hammer and the regular tiger will see tier nine games. Now, this is a particularly nice game for the uh, tiger because mostly nobody bothers me much. I can sit here at this corner and in a few other locations and just shoot people at a distance without them um, returning fire or really. So the Tiger 131 is after poking out there and I'm a bit worried about the Rheinmetall Borsig because I thought he might be able to shoot me over the roof of the building. But I don't think he can. At least no shot has been incoming. Um, so there is the Tiger 131 and the first one misses because I think I just belted it off the rock that's in front of him that's it there and put this one over the top of the rock now he at no point shoots me back at least not that I've noticed um, so maybe that whatever damaged him also uh, damaged his gun or something uh, I don't know but he didn't shoot at me anyway and I haven't taken any damage so far so I'm taking a bit of a risk coming out here especially now that I'm targeted because I'm definitely not targeted by the Ferdinand uh, it is one of my game in-game failings is to get too too preoccupied with what I'm shooting at. Somebody's just bounced around off of me side on and he's now damaged my gun but I've taken no actual hit point damage. Fortunately I've been able to back up back into cover without taking any um, actual damage. Now I did use the repair kit to repair the gun because the one thing that this tank really has going for it, or any of the Tiger variants really, is one of the things they have going for them is the gun. The, the other is mobility of the tank. Now, I was pre-aimed too close to the rock wall there, and I wasn't able to get the first shot off. Uh, he would have cleared the position, so um, that was a mistake on my part. I think he might have gotten the second shot off. However, we tracked him when he came up on the rise there, and somebody else killed him didn't get a shot off in the light tank and now I'm coming out now I'm spotted and targeted I think probably by the hammer now I should have probably pulled out uh, not far through the wall didn't really realize I was firing through the wall there that may be why the shot um, hit the tracks or it could have been just simple RNG anyway so the hammer isn't there anymore so we're gonna push forward I mean we're up we're up a couple of tanks and all of a sudden we start just growing up. Now the enemy are actually finished, really, even though we don't have a huge tank advantage yet. Because they're split into two distinct, they're in the less than a third of the map and split into two distinct regions. And the, this T-29 is one of the few links between the two regions. He's trying to support the tanks to his south and he's giving me side shots and I'm going to keep shooting at him as long as he sits there. Uh, this is what I mean, like, I was getting a lot of, uh, well, this one. Well, all through the match so far, I've been mostly shooting at people that haven't been shooting back at me. Um, so that has been a huge advantage to me. 
And a tiger in any flavor is, is near perfect tank to be in that position in where you're shooting at people and they're not shooting back at you. 45 TP is a bit more challenging in the front and I, I don't really know where the weak spots are. I'm kind of going for the usual lower front plate because it's generally weaker than in most tanks. But there's, there are exceptions and I don't know what degree of sloping there is either. Um, I decided not to go towards the base that I had a better chance of getting some more damage by going this way because there were a few more tanks but even as I'm driving along enemy tanks are just dying left and right. So we have an ARL44 sticking out and sideways on, I got no trouble particularly with premium ammunition, I shouldn't have used premium at this point. Putting rounds through the side of him, um, there is a tank destroyer nearby. And again, the enemy tanks are just dying off. There's one tank remaining up near the base, I think. I don't know where the light tank is. And whatever's down here is dead. And everything else is dead. So that's it. Game over. So we got nearly 2,000 damage. Uh, direct bounce 355. Um, that was just that one shot. Sounds like a big gun. Don't know. And we... Um, we didn't get a lot of assisted damage either, mostly because again we were on our own and again we were shooting at targets we weren't spotting and we're a long way away from our position. So this got us a confederate third class mastery. We didn't we came high enough on the table but we didn't come anywhere near the top. I mean it wasn't a spectacular result. Like a lot of the Tigers I've played, it's a fun tank to play. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and a share. Feel free to comment. If you've not already done so, please subscribe. I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now.